Hello friends. Now the next topic in FITs uh, that is small signal analysis of FITs is the small signal analysis of JFET. Earlier we have seen the different uh, circuits of MOSFET amplifier that is small signal of MOSFET based amplifiers. That topic is important for all the exams, gate, engineering services, civil services and so on. This is another topic which is important especially for engineering services and civil services. This is no more mentioned in the syllabus of gate. This is point to be noted please, it is not mentioned in the syllabus of gate. But it is important topic for engineering services, electrical, electronics and civil services exam. So in <coughs> this topic we will be uh, going through these five circuits that is fixed biased common source amplifier, self biased common source amplifier will be taking two cases here, bypassed source resistance and bypassed source resistance, then analysis of potential divider bias common source amplifier, fourth one I will be talking about is analysis of common drain or source follower amplifier and the last one we will be talking about analysis of common gate amplifier. These are the five circuits which are uh, normally there uh, in the different competitive exams or even in university exams so I'll be going through these circuits one by one fine uh, since we have already gone through the small signal analysis of uh, MOSFETs it is exactly the same procedure which will be followed in JFET so I hope if you have gone through the different uh, videos on uh, more small signal analysis of MOSFET so you won't be facing any difficulty in JFET. So we will be going through little uh, fast as compared to previous topics. Fine. So let us start with the first one that is small signal analysis of fixed biased amplifier. Here when you talk about the fixed biased amplifier I have already drawn that circuit. You can see on right side this is the fixed biased JFET based common source amplifier fine here uh, we have already seen in biasing circuits of uh, JFET and MOSFET the meaning of fixed bias in fixed bias circuit we do not connect any resistance in series with this terminal here I will be calling this terminal as drain this terminal as source so in fixed bias circuits the source terminal is directly connected to the ground if there is a resistance connected here that becomes a self biased circuit so this is the case which is known as fixed biased circuit so for small signal analysis I hope you remember the procedure to be followed what do we do we replace for the analysis what do we do in analysis first of all we find the voltage gain input impedance and output impedance of the amplifier Normally in case of JFETs and MOSFETs we find three parameters voltage gain, input impedance and output impedance. But in case of BJTs we find voltage gain, current gain and input impedance and output impedance four parameters fine. So here for drawing <coughs> its small signal uh, or AC equivalent circuit so what do we do we replace the coupling capacitors by short circuit replace biasing voltage source. Uh, voltage source by short circuit and ground this side when it is connected to a terminal it is ground and replace this capacitor by short circuit replace the MOSFET replace the MOSFET or not MOSFET JFET by its small signal equivalent and you know what is that equivalent so we have a current source here this is GM VGS and we connect a resistance which is known as output resistance R0 this is plus, this is minus, this is VGS. And in this case, remember, this VGS is same as V input. This is V in. So this is same as V input. So you can redraw this circuit again just for a simplification point of view. We have the gate terminal. This is input voltage. So uh, we have the small signal equivalent of the JFET. This is the source terminal. This is drain terminal. We have the voltage VGS which is same as V in that is input voltage. So you know what is this current source that is GM into I will write V in instead of VGS here. Why? Because VGS is same as 
input voltage. This is R0 and you can see this is the drain terminal where we have a resistance RD also between the drain and ground. So at this terminal is grounded. This is output voltage. This is output voltage, not CC0, this is output voltage. Fine. So this circuit is simplified version here. Uh, just I have uh, connected this resistance between output terminal and ground here. Fine. So we know if you see the resistance from this side, that must be input resistance. If you see the resistance from this side, that must be output resistance. Sometimes we call it output impedance. So it's it's you may be mentioned like that. So here, what will be input resistance? We know this is resistance RG. So input resistance R in it will be equal to RG here. Why? If you see the resistance from the input side, this is open circuited. So resistance seen from that this side, that is input side, will be simply this resistance. Why? Because this is open circuited. So when it is open circuited, so resistance seen from that, this side is simply equal to RG. Fine. Now you can see this current that is GM into V in is going down and then it will be going upward like this. So he, uh, when the point where current enters is positive terminal and the point at which current leaves are resistance is negative terminal. So output voltage will be negative. Just like previous cases. So V0 will be equal to the parallel combination of R0 and RD. Why? Because these are connected in parallel. Multiplied by the current that is GM into V in. Why I am writing in? Because this VGS is same as input. So I have replaced VGS by V in. So this is minus sign outside. Why? Because it is going up. So this is minus. So I have put negative sign. So what will be voltage gain here? AV will be equal to V0 upon V in. And that is minus GM R0 in parallel with RD. But in some, in some books or sometimes you may not be uh, given R0. Or you may be mentioned that R0 is much much greater than RD. Then you what, what do we have? We have R0 into RD by R0 plus RD is the parallel combination or I will rewrite it like this. R0 in parallel with RD that is equal to R0 RD by R0 plus RD and when R0 is much much greater than RD so it is RD here. So if it is very large as compared to this you can neglect this. I hope it's clear. And if it is neglected, R0 and R0 gets cancelled out. So this will be simply equal to RD. So I'm writing here itself. R0 in parallel with RD will be approximately equal to RD. Fine. So in that case, AV will be equal to that is minus GM into RD. Try to remember it. This is important as far as MOSFETs and FETs are concerned. Fine. You should remember voltage gain is equal to minus GM into RD. But what is the meaning of negative sign? Remember, in case of common source amplifiers, your voltage gain is negative. That indicates the output voltage is shifted by 180 degree in comparison to input. So output voltage is simply inverted. What is the meaning of that? Suppose this is the voltage, input voltage Vi. So output voltage will be just 180 degree in phase difference with this. If it is this positive, this will be negative. That is output voltage. So this is inversion. That is inversion. So J effect is an inverting circuit. It will. It is an inverter circuit. It inverts the phase of the input voltage. Fine. So that is why J effect is an inverter. J effect in common source mode is inverter. Please uh, do remember that. Fine. So now let us talk about the output impedance. So I have obtained input resistance. I have obtained voltage gain. I am not writing complete theoretical uh, points here. Reason being because I am speaking here. Uh, as far as text is concerned, you will get everything there. Fine. Now, we have to find output resistance for the circuit. So how do we find output resistance? You simply replace input by ground. So when you replace input side by ground, this is zero. Input is 0 and when input is 0, so GM into V in will be 0 and when current is 0, when current here is 0, what will happen? This will, current source will behave like open circuit. 
and when current source behaves like open circuit the resistance free seen from output side is nothing but output resistance how do we get output resistance replace input source by zero if it is input voltage source replace it by ground or circuit if it is input current source replace it by open circuit when you replace it by ground or open circuit when you put input source equal to zero then resistance seen from output side is equal to output resistance and in this case please see it carefully what do we what do we get the resistance seen across output terminals will be what that is nothing but you see from output side so resistance seen from this side is the parallel combination of these two resistances that is r naught and rd so output resistance of this circuit that is fixed bias circuit is nothing but R naught will be the parallel combination of R naught that is small R naught and R D. This is the output resistance. In my text, you may be finding this Z naught. So that is same thing because for resistances we are mentioning resistances here are there. I'll maybe talking about impedance. Fine, but that is same. So I hope the concept is clear. So this is all about your fixed biased JFET based common source amplifier that is voltage gain of fixed biased common source amplifier. In next video I will be talking about the common source self biased JFET based amplifier just watch for and just wait for my next video to come. Thank you very much for watching the video.